What's up y'all, it's Techie Chris and I'm back here with another video. For y'all who don't know me, I'm a network engineer with a passion for all things related to technology. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about how the Cisco CCNA single-handedly changed my life. So before we even get started, let's talk about where I was before the CCNA. In college, finishing up my bachelor's degree in information technology. By the way, I did finish that degree and I did graduate from my school. But I was finishing up my bachelor's degree and by this time I had taken the Network Plus, the Security Plus, and the Google IT Support Certification. And I knew I loved the field of networking and security, but I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to move forward with my career. Up to this point, all the positions that I had were pretty much IT internships where I did basically help desk stuff. I had one internship as a network engineering apprentice, but in that internship, I was dealing a lot with hardware and not with the actual configurations of devices. The reason I even chose to take the CCNA is because I was tired of just doing help desk. I wanted to excel my career and learn a little bit more than the current certifications that I had at the moment. I watched many videos just like the ones on my channel and was very intimidated because I heard that the CCNA was a difficult certification and it's honestly not just a walk in the park. But I didn't let this get to me because I knew that if someone was able to do it in the past, that means that I could definitely do it. The CCNA for me wasn't just another certification. This was a challenge and an opportunity for me to actually level up my career. On certifications like Network Plus and Security Plus by CompTIA, you learn about services, you learn about protocols, you learn about technologies, but with the CCNA, you actually learn how to implement those and actually do configurations that matter. While studying for the CCNA, I started to feel like I was actually doing something that was important. The CCNA taught me how to actually configure devices, which is something that I really enjoyed learning. The CCNA was definitely a rough certification and it taught me a lot about discipline. It taught me a lot about how to manage my time accordingly. Because mind you, during this time, I still was working my internship and still was in school. The CCNA is one of the best certifications for breaking into networking because rather than just telling you about the services, it literally tells you all about how to configure a router, how to configure a switch, and how to route packages from one network to another. It gave me the confidence of actually solving real world problems. And as I mentioned before, before the CCNA, I was still working my internship, still in school, and I really didn't understand how to configure devices. So I spoke to the company that I was interning with and asked them to work with the network engineering department as an intern. I started working with the network engineering department, not really knowing how to configure devices yet, but they offered to sponsor my CCNA. So during this time, as I'm taking my CCNA, I'm learning how to actually configure devices on the CCNA, but then working with the network engineering department gave me the opportunity to practice the configurations that I learned on the CCNA on the real job. It made me really understand how the network connects on a deeper level. And if I never took that step in wanting to take the CCNA, I probably would never have had the opportunity to work on the network engineering department for that company. Since getting the CCNA, I have pretty much got a lot of experience in understanding how to configure devices on a network. It's open jobs and salaries that I didn't even think were possible at this current stage in my career. And the jobs that it has opened up has exposed me to so much more stuff that I feel like I am becoming a master at the current level that I am. Just getting the CCNA has given me the opportunity to use my skills effectively, so much so that I'm even confident enough in myself to start a consulting business. I feel like CCNA and also the current position that I'm in have helped me become so much better in my understanding of networking that I am able to move into other fields like cloud and security and be able to use my networking background to excel well in those fields. So now I am working towards other certifications like CCNP, which will help me become a lot more well versed in technologies that I'm lacking at at the moment. So honestly, a big question is, is the CCNA worth it? And in my opinion, of course, the CCNA is 110% still worth it. The IT industry highly respects the certification. You don't need a degree to break into network engineering. You can have a CCNA plus on the job skills plus home lab skills, and that will give you a job as a network engineer or a network administrator very easily. And if you are targeting entry level roles, you will be a lot more qualified than other people if you have a CCNA and understand those technologies. It's definitely not an easy certification, but that's honestly the reason why it changes you. 
It's proof that you can handle and build and solve real deal IT problems. So at this point, if you are considering taking the CCNA, I 110% believe that you should go for it. The CCNA helped evolve my life tremendously. I always recommend it to people who are up and coming in the field of tech. But yep, that's it for this video. I do appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions about the Cisco Certified Network Associate, definitely hit me up or send me a message on my website at www.techiecris.com. Anyways, that's it for this video and I'm out.